What's going on everybody? This is your boy Roddy Ride. Welcome back to the channel. <sighs> Guys, I wish I could be in a better mood right now. I wish I could be. Now, I waited a couple days to make this video because I was already in a bad mood after this game this past weekend, uh, this past Saturday. Um, and <clears throat> it's just... For me personally, man, every time I try to give this team a chance to 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 I get I try to give this team a chance every, a chance every year to do something great and to prove me wrong, right? And for those y'all, I am a diehard Duke Blue Devil fan, um, basketball and football, but uh, I don't know what's going on with I don't know what's going on with, going on with us in uh, football this year. Or over the last few years. Um, <clears throat> basketball, I feel like we're fine. I mean, of course, Coach K is retiring uh, after this coming up season. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We're talking about football right now. And I just, I, I, I don't get it. Like, I really don't understand <sighs> how we keep losing these close games. We just keep giving these games away. When we really should be winning them, like we lost to we lost to UNC Charlotte, a team that we should have beaten. Like, come on now, like we 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 do blue devil action up in here. I don't even know if I have enough words <clears throat> to to put. I don't even know if I have enough to put into words how pissed off I am right now about this game. And basically, I it's gonna be a long season, man. We we we're not gonna do anything. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys when I say this. Most of y'all probably gonna beat me down, whatever, whatever. Um, Cutcliffe, David Cutcliffe needs to go. Okay, there I said it. I didn't want to say it, but David Cutcliffe needs to go, and I'm gonna tell y'all why. David Cutcliffe hasn't done anything for this team to be relevant in the last, let's just say the last three years he's been there. Because he's, he's been there pretty much forever. But still, like, he really ain't done much enough. I mean, other than other than the year Thomas Suck was there, our, uh, the old quarterback that used to play for Duke, other than he, when he was there, we used to be decent. We, we actually used to be good. But now, it's it's... I don't get it, man. Oh, and guys, I apologize for not for skipping over this, but I just want to say, uh, if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel. Um, and I'll definitely be providing you guys with more content daily on a, uh, on a more daily basis just so I can interact and connect with you guys more often. Apologize for me not saying that earlier. It's just that I was just so focused on this. And, like, this whole Duke loss, like, y'all understand, man. Like, as as a Duke fan, you know, especially the whole thing with the whole Duke-Carolina rivalry. Like, <laughs> Carolina lost last this, uh, this past weekend, too, against Virginia Tech. So, I was pretty happy about that. But, with Carolina, well, Carolina did have a shot to win their game, too. But, um, they just choked. We did too, though, but I'm going to just say this, guys. The reason we lose these games every freaking time, okay, it's not, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not offense. Offense is fun, I feel like. The reason we lose these games is because of the freaking defense. Particularly the second. See, this, this, this is this is just show you guys how upset I am. On the last play, well, yeah, the, the game-winning touchdown for UNC Charlotte. Why in the world do we blitz and leave a receiver wide open on the left side of the field? And he, he literally just walks into the freaking end zone for a touch. <sighs> Guys, I don't have, I don't have words. I, 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 I'm, I'm just so upset. Because as a Duke fan, okay, a Duke 
football fan, all right? I truly want to give this team a chance every single year, okay? I want to be positive and support this team. I'm still going to support them. Good times and bad times. I'm still going to support them, win, lose, whatever, whatever. But I don't know if I'm just pissed off that we lost to USC Charlotte when I really feel like we should have won. Or if I'm more pissed off at the fact that it's just the same old crap with Duke football every year. Now, I know what y'all are saying. I'm, I'm overreacting. And I could be. Because it's, it's just the first game of the season. I get it. But at the same time, when, you, when you're used to, to the same thing every game, every game, every year, when you're used to the same thing, and there's not really much improvement from the overall football team itself, it's time for a change. <laughs> I mean, look what, for example, look what Carolina did. Um, the last, like I said, the last two years or so. Like, basically, when Larry, y'all remember Larry Fedora when he, when he was there? They fired him, and then they brought in Mac Brown. Look what Mac Brown's done to, done to that team. Like, he's turned that football program around three, complete 360. You see what I'm saying? And now, I mean, yes, Carolina lost against Virginia Tech, but it's just the first game of the season. They shouldn't overreact. I mean, they were ranked 10th in the country, so they're actually nationally ranked. We ain't nationally ranked. I want to be nationally ranked. I want to be top 25. I would love to be top 10. Shoot, even top 5 if we get that lucky. But that ain't going to happen because Duke football is that terrible. And it's just... Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to keep my composure right now. But I, I, I'm not trying to be too loud because, you know, I got neighbors. And I, I respect all my neighbors a lot by not trying to keep the noise down. But... <clears throat> It just pisses me off that every year, like I say, even though it's the first game, but just when you think this team should turn around, and sorry for, for me rubbing my eyes, but just when you think this team is going to turn around and not disappoint me, <coughs> they disappoint me. So I don't have any words. I don't have a lot of words for this team. Yes, it's just one game. Yes, I'm probably overreacting. Yes, it's deserved when you're used to the same crap. And like I said, if this team does not get together the rest of the season, David Cutcliffe needs to go. You heard it here first. You heard, you heard it here first. If this team does not get it together the rest of the season, and if we, if we continue to struggle this season and continue to lose games like we just did this past Saturday, David Cutcliffe, I'm, look, I'm looking in the camera when I say, I, I want, I'm looking to the camera. David Cutcliffe, you need to go. I'm tired of you. Every time I give you a chance, you fail me. <sighs> okay, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video now because... I'm getting more, I'm, I'm just getting more and more upset. I don't want y'all to see me upset. I want you guys to see me happy and full of positivity. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want y'all to see me upset. But no, in all seriousness, guys, I hope y'all like this video, man. And I'm just glad this football season's back. And to make things even better, my Philadelphia Eagles is going to be playing this Sunday against the Atlanta Falcons. Now, we better win. And I know what y'all are thinking. It's just the first game of the season. But I don't really have a lot of high expectations for my, for my Eagles because I consider this a rebuild year. But I do think we'll beat the Falcons. At least I hope we do. But I say that to say, be on the lookout for a um, reaction video the next day. Not Probably not the day of the game which will be this Sunday. It'll probably be mon uh, next Monday. So be on the lookout for that. Win, lose, or whatever happens. Win, lose, or tie. I hate the tie rule in, it by, in the NFL, by the way. Win, lose, or tie. I will still be doing a reaction video. Hopefully, I will be in a good mood for y'all because I don't like when y'all see me upset. But I'm still going to support my Eagles. I'm still going to support my Duke Blue Devils, even though they, they hurt me so bad. 
every year. But in all seriousness, guys, I love you all. As I said earlier, if y'all like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and get it and just help me out a little bit. Just so in turn, I can provide you guys with some good content. And also, you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see from me, man. Because at the end of the day, I'm here for you guys. So it's all about me trying to please you guys and make y'all happy and give you guys what y'all want to see. But I don't think y'all want to see me pissed. I mean, if you do, let me know. I mean, I'll, I, I'll be pissed off in the game. But I'm just saying, like, I don't want y'all to see me like that. But I don't say this, man. I love y'all. It's still Duke Blue Devil Nation over here, even though we freaking lost to UNC Charlotte. I'm still mad. I'm not going to get over it. Not yet. Give me, t give me like, another day. I'll get over it. <laughs> and I'm serious, guys. Love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Happy Monday. Hope y'all had a happy Monday. Had good start to the week. And I hope y'all just enjoy the, continue to enjoy the rest of y'all week. And hopefully it's full of positivity. And hopefully my week will be more positive as well going, going and later on into the week. Appreciate y'all and I love y'all. Later, y'all.